Hello friends, my name is Icholia and today I'm going to show you how you can make a drop down function using WP form. Okay? Uh, WP form is a uh, free plugin. If you are using uh, Ocean WP and uh, Elementor, they will always prompt you to install it. Okay? But now what I want us to concentrate is how you can create this drop down function like this one you see here okay huh? now why i made this because maybe for example you're having a, an ict farm uh, like me so what you do sometimes your clients want to request you of a surface okay so what you do you need to create this drop down function whereby on your request for a quote here on this page you see it will create i mean uh, you have to create this uh, form you create this form whereby your client will enter the name uh, i enter the email the telephone number and then the service he requires okay so you will come up to here he select the service like now for example this uh, client needs seo you will come and click here seo then here he will type his message then he'll do what he will submit okay uh, so now that's it uh, let me show you how I achieved this drop down form using WP forms. Okay, so the first thing I'm going back to my back end. So let me close here, <coughs> close this part. So I'm going to create a new page so that I can demonstrate for you, and then you will learn how I achieved it. So I'll come here to all other page. So here we are going to type it here, sample, let me say sample, then here we will come here to this part, we click 100% full width and then we come to title, uh, this one we disable, and then we say publish, we publish again. So after we have created that page now we need to take it to the to the menu here okay so that it can be visible on the menu so uh, we go to click on appearance then we click on menus okay this is our place where we include our page to the menu so the page we created is this one called sample so we click here then we click on add to menu and then we save okay let's refresh our website so that we can see if the page has already been integrated okay the page is here it's already integrated so the thing we need to do we need to go back to our back end then we click all pages then from all pages we add to our sample page it is here then we click on it now we are going to edit with L Elementor. So you come and click this part here, written edit with Elementor. We click there like that. All right. Now from here, uh, you need to come and click on this part. Then you select these two. Okay like that then uh, we make it full width click there full width then we update let's update it first so we have updated this now we need to go back click here exit to the dashboard now from here we add to our WP form okay this is WP form here okay this is a plugin. As I explained to you, when you install uh, Ocean WP and uh, Elementor, they will always prompt you to install this one. Okay? So what we do, we click here and then we come and click on 
all forms now from here we need to add a new form we click it here let's uh let's give our form a name which name are we going to let's say drop down okay like that okay yes like that now we come and click on this one simple contact form we click here okay now it is the one here so what we need we don't need this last name so what we do we click here and then we come to format we click simple like so okay now if you see here we are having telephone number so we need to add it eh? so i just come on this one i over here then i'll click on duplicate then i say okay once you duplicate now what we need to do is to come and change this part we type here telephone like so okay as you can see it has already done what appeared here okay the next thing now we need to do is to create this part surfaces eh? whereby there is a drop down of many surfaces okay there is this function whereby we can be able to select a service uh, that we can offer to our what or our clients will select a service that they need us to offer for them okay so we come here then we go back to hard field okay click here to hard field on the hard field we click on drop down then we drag up to here like so okay now from here we need to come and click here again now this is where the magic happens so we click here then we need to edit the name so here we say surfaces okay now the first service we need to to add here it is ICT support ICT support okay now the second one we say web design web design the third one we are going to add SEO then the fourth one we just click here on this plus button like so uh, then we click here we say app app development app development then again we need to click here so we come and say security cctv security management or installation let's say installation eh? okay okay let me reference what we have here uh, web design is used uh, okay now we are remaining with access control so I'll click here again then here I'll write access access control okay uh, let me correct it it's like that then once we have done like this my friends eh? now the next thing we need to do is to save we have to save this uh, form okay we click here once it has saved then again we will click here to embed so we click here and then we select this one okay select all of this now we close okay let me select again then then I copy it then I'll close it I also close this one now we are here so we are going back to our page you remember the page we created so we click to all pages and then we go to sample then we edit with Elementor We wait it to load now you remember we had already created uh, some functions here so 
the next thing we need to do is now to click here and then here we need to click we have a lot of functions i mean a lot of uh what do we call them we call them um a lot of modules eh? this is modules all of these are modules so i look for short code yes then i'll drag it here then from here i'm just going to click here and i paste the code now our form is there okay but first there is something i need to, to edit you can see here so what we do i have to delete this one then uh, i have to go back to my form exit to the dashboard let me go back to my form and edit something first before we continue so i'll come here to where are you yeah the thing i need to edit is these wordings as you can see i need just to have the word message only the word message okay like so okay then i save it then let me embed copy it close everything here mm, now we come uh, we go back to our page edit it now from here then we select short code short code we drag it here and then we paste the code here like so that's how it is as you can see our service here that's how it is okay Mm, there is something I see, but we will uh, we will later on edit it. Let me just show you how this thing will work first. Then I'll click on this part. Then I need image. I'll look for image. The image module is here. Then I'll paste it here. Then I'll click here. I'll select a image. Then I update like so. Okay. Now, as you can see, our form doesn't look very well. Uh, so what I'll do I'll have to click here and then I'll come to advance click on advance then I go to background then I'll select background color I'll select this one once I select this one then I reduce all of this like that first then <coughs> the second one uh -huh. I'll come here to where are you where are you where are you border box shadow uh, let me make it white let's make it default first and then uh, solid color I'll make it white then let's update and see still okay I'll work on it don't worry so I'll click here come here to mm, let's select it right Let's refresh and see. Yes, this is what I'm telling you. Okay, this is how it is, and uh, we are finished making our what? Our drop down function. So if you see here, we have all the services that we have indicated, like we have here ICT and so forth. Okay, so let's see if this thing really works very well but first let me again edit this part i go to advance 
uh, I need to pull it until down yes something like that then I update all right now let's go to our page and see boom that's what we have created okay so when uh, when the clients visit our website you write his name here uh, email telephone number and then he or she will select the service okay come and select the service here maybe he wants us to do a cctv installation just click there and then you write his message here requesting maybe a quotation uh, or maybe directive or which is the best uh, uh, cctv cameras then you will update here okay and then the message will be sent to our email and then we will answer uh, the message from the client so friends uh, that's the end of the tutorial if you like this tutorial please share with your friends and don't uh, don't forget to subscribe and if there is any other suggestion you need me to do suggest anything I'll do it for you good guys cheers see you